Hello from BI Consulting Services. Today we'll be creating a small contacts app in Microsoft Power Apps. Begin by opening up a new Microsoft Excel worksheet and let's get started. We must first create a table. To start, in cells A1 through C1, put name, email, and phone number respectively. After doing that, make sure cells A2 through C2 have the general format. Now select cells A1 through C2, press CTRL plus T, click My Table Has Headers, and then hit OK. Now let's save our Excel worksheet to OneDrive. Click the File tab, hit Save As, and save the file as contacts to your OneDrive account. After doing that, open up Power Apps. After clicking on Create, click on Excel. After doing that, click on New Connection and connect to your dataset via OneDrive. Once you've done that, click on Contacts, then select Table 1, and then hit Connect. Notice that Power Apps already made a pre-made browse screen for us. Let's create our first contact in our app. Click on the play button at the top right of the screen, hit the plus button, and enter information into the email, name, and phone number fields. and then hit the check once you're done. Let's say that we want to change the order that the information is displayed for each entry. If we click on Browse Gallery 1, we can change this by clicking the Edit button under the Properties tab to the right of Fields. Once we've done that, we can put the contact's name at the top by putting Name into Title 2. We can also put the contact's phone number in the middle by putting phone number into subtitle 2. And lastly, we can put email at the bottom by setting body2 to email. Now let's change the title of our app. Under Browse Screen 1, click on LBL App Name 1, and under the Properties tab, change the text from Table 1 to Contacts. Now let's say that we want the contacts to be in descending alphabetical order. You'll notice that I created two new contacts, one beginning with the letter A and the other beginning with the letter B. Click on Browse Gallery 1 and after sort by columns, change email to name. As you can see, our contacts are now in alphabetical order. If we open one of our contacts, you'll notice that the field order is email, name, and phone number. Let's change the order to name, phone number, and email. Click the X on the top right of the screen. Now that we've done that, click on name and drag the black card to the side of the email field. And do likewise with phone number and email. We'll do likewise with our edit screen. Click the play button again and click on the pencil at the top right of the app screen. Then click the X at the top right. Click and drag the fields like we did in the previous screen. Let's also change the titles on both the contact screen and the edit contact screen. Click on Table 1 at the top and rename it to Edit Contact and the Text field under the Properties tab. After doing that, click the Play button at the top, then hit the check at the top right of the app and hit the X button again. We'll change the title of this screen to just Contact. And we're done. Now when we press play, we can create, view, and edit contacts on a nicely presented contacts app. 
Thank you for watching from BI Consulting Services.